everyone, um, today I'm going to be doing my first ever YouTube book review um, and this book review is going to be on The Drifters by um, James A. Missioner. It took me a hell of a long time to read this book. Well hold on, I haven't even boiled my kettle yet. I poured my water, I boiled my kettle and <laughs> didn't put my, my boiling water into my chamomile tea. Sorry about that. Give me a sec. I'm a bit of a tea um, junkie, so excuse me. Um, so I'm probably going to have to calm down. That's not me farting, by the way. I'm on my yoga ball, um, which I sit on sometimes. Um, okay, back to the point. Um, it took me a very long time to read this book. Um, as you can see, the pages, the words are so, so small. Uh, 768 pages long and, um, you know, um, on Goodreads I gave this book 2 out of 5 stars. I wish I could give it more. Um, I mean, it is said to be a number one bestseller. Um, and it got referred to me by a friend who told me I would love it because it's all about travel and um, yes, it definitely instilled a desire to travel um, but that didn't really need much probing to begin with. Um, I love travel, everyone knows I do. So um, yeah, I think um, it's set in the 60s and it follows the lives of um, six young travellers all from different parts of the world, um, with different backgrounds and cultures and religions. Um, so you get to learn a lot about like the politics that went on back in the day, and um, you know uh, the society between um, like black and white societies, and just a lot of the conflicts that went on. Which was it was very interesting for me um, because I was very um, arrogant about history in school. Um, I wished I had um, liked it more and paid more attention. Um, so it definitely gave me a good lesson um, in that respect. Um, but I found it very slow paced. Um, so these six young travellers uh, basically hop around Europe and a bit of Africa, um, experiment with drugs and sex and um, I didn't really understand the point of it. Um, I know that's quite horrible to say about a book, um, but I mean, as I was reading it, I was like, okay, where's the storyline? Um, it is a very old book, and so many people loved it, um, so I'm probably the only person that doesn't. Um, but I guess, then again, I've never read a book like it. Um, it's not my normal type of read. Um, but I think that's a good thing, it's good to, you know, break out of your comfort zone every once in a while and read something different. Um, I wish I liked it more, um, but I didn't really take much away from it. Um, yeah, that's um, really about it. Um, it's very... I'd say a man would probably pref prefer this book a bit more than a woman. Um, I'm quite sensitive towards um, racial comments and things like that, especially because I live in South Africa, um, and there's a lot about uh, like when the blacks were not really um, favouring too well in the 60s and stuff, and the wars, and like a lot of bad names are used in the book um, that I don't really want to repeat, um, but yeah. Um, so, I mean, the main place that they're in is this beautiful exotic backdrop of Spain um, and it's all around the outskirts of, um, of Europe, but uh, yeah, not a book that I would actually recommend to anyone. Um, so it's quite a sad way to begin book reviews really, because normally I rant and rave about books, like, um, it's not often I don't find something wonderful in a book, but this one I had a really hard time. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry James A. Missioner if you're still alive and kicking, but this one just didn't do it for me. Sorry.